Hello, this video is part of the top 10 series where we tell you 10 interesting facts about a particular drug. I just want to take a moment and appreciate and thank Spaceman for his amazing idea. I hope we are able to implement and bring you the videos the way we planned it. It's pretty exciting. So the drug I'm going to be talking about today is phenytoin. And as you guys already know that it's an anti-epileptic drug. It is used for a number of seizure types, but I'm going to mention tonic-clonic seizures because it's more common. It is also used for status epilepticus. How does it act? It blocks voltage-gated sodium channels, and that's how it stops seizure propagation. It can be also used as an antiarrhythmic. Just to be specific, it is a class 1A antiarrhythmic. So that's three points. Point number four is that it is eliminated by zero order kinetics, which means that a constant proportion of the drug is eliminated. Um, there are very few drugs that you should remember which are eliminated by zero order kinetics and the mnemonic for that is P because P looks like a zero. P is for phenytoin, E is for ethanol and A is for aspirin. And that's point number four. Point number five is that it induces the P450 enzyme system. So that's five points about phenytoin. Now um, I'm going to be talking about the side effect profile of phenytoin. Um, I think the side effects are more prominent because it is used for a long duration compared to other drugs. So the first um, side effect that you should know about is the neurotoxicity of phenytoin. It cause, causes peripheral neuropathy. It also causes nystagmus, diplopia, and ataxia. But I think you should remember nystagmus, especially vertical nystagmus. You know, horizontal nystagmus is seen in a lot of conditions, but vertical nystagmus is very specific for phenytoin toxicity. And how do you remember this? When your eyes look up, the phenytoin levels are up. So that's point number six. Point number seven is that it causes hyperplasia of the gums and I think everybody kind of knows that. The other drug that causes hyperplasia of the gums is calcium channel blockers. Point number eight, it can cause osteopenia of the bones. It messes up with your calcium and vitamin D metabolism, it causes weak bones. Point number nine is that it causes folate deficiency. It kind of interferes with the absorption of folate, which causes megaloblastic anemia. It is why phenytoin is ter teratogenic. Folate deficiency causes neural tube defects, and that's why a, a lady who wants to get pregnant should not be on phenytoin. Because by the time you know you're pregnant, the neural tube is all, already formed, so you should not be on phenytoin if you're planning to get pregnant. And point number 10 is about phosphenytoin. It's the brother of phenytoin which can be used IV. It has amazing efficacy and all of that good stuff. So that's 10 points about phenytoin. I hope you had fun learning with me and stay awesome.